हेलो गाइज नाउ वी आर डूइंग सम बोर्ड कैलिब्रेशन ओके नाउ माई नेम इज़ पंकज अगेन वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग अगेन वी आर कमिंग हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन यू द बोर्ड कैलिब्रेशन आई हैव अ टू ट्रांसमीटर यू कैन सी हेयर वन फर्स्ट वन इज योर फ्लाई स्काई मॉडल नंबर एफ एस टी सिक्स ए बी एंड सेकेंड वन इज रेडियो ने बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर यूजिंग दिस ट्रांसमीटर एंड वी विल शो यू सम बोर्ड कैलिब्रेशन प्रोसेस इन अ क्वार कॉप्टर ओके now uh, what is the basic requirement for your board calibration you need a one one receiver and i have a one fly sky transmitter already i told you that this is my board okay i will show you one more board this is one more board okay i'm using this board and this board is controller this controller is at mega 168 pa okay and i fixed this board in here <laughs> now here look this motor is my clockwise direction okay this motor is my clockwise direction second one is my nt clock nt okay so this is my board is fixed here and you know very well your first motor should be your clockwise second motor is your nt clockwise third one is uh, third one is again clock and fourth one is your clockwise now like uh, what we will do first we will connect our receiver in this board okay i am using a this one uh, these are the receiver in receiver you can uh, sir can you zoom it okay now look here in receiver in receiver bat is written in a top then after that uh, cs6 cs5 channel number 4 channel number 3 channel number 2 channel number 1 okay channel 1 is connected to your aileron channel 2 is elevator channel number 3 is throttle and channel number 4 is for rudder purpose okay so we are only using a th three uh, a four channel here four basic channel in a quadcopter and listen here your first pins these first pins these first pins okay these all first pins towards your antenna towards your antenna all are signal pins middle one is your vcc and last one is your ground okay again i am explaining these all are signal pins middle one vcc and third one is ground okay now what we are going to do here i am connecting my first channel in my first channel you look here white one towards white one is signal wire so this is towards your antenna middle one is vcc and th uh, third one is your ground so all are parallel connection so no need to give a uh, supply in every uh, uh, in every channel only single time i am giving a supply vcc and ground okay now i am connecting this uh, channel number 1 in our board channel number 1 this one is first one is my aileron second one is my elevator third one is throttle and fourth one is my rudder okay so now rest of the connection i already i told you that only one time i am giving a vcc and ground supply and the rest of the pin i am using as a signal pin okay so white means second channel connected here i think it's good third one is my throttle purpose that's finish and fourth one is again for rudder this is my channel connection now this is my receiver connection okay my receiver is connected okay first one is uh, aileron th uh, second one is elevator fourth no third one is throttle and fourth one is rudder okay now uh now sundar sir will explain you the uh, some motor connection okay uh yeah and uh, this uh now we going to calibrate this board as well as uh, ac's as well as uh, motors all together and uh, for that uh, there's a uh, three potentiometers here uh, you can see your pitch and roll and uh, for the calibration process you have to put this potentiometer uh, in minimum minimum means uh, you have to rotate uh, to the clockwise uh, i'm sorry uh, counter clockwise uh, at a point at a certain point it will tends to stop uh, this known more rotation that is a minimum point and uh, if you rotate in a counter clockwise you can see that 
it is an now it's a maximum 100 position and it's zero and it's an 100 uh, for the calibration process it should be in minimum i'm putting my your potentiometer at zero so your yeah. potential should be in a minimum position yes uh, after that uh, make sure uh, your escs are connected properly uh, similar to the receiver connection here are the ESC pins ESC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, it will be indicated as uh, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6 uh, here you can see the things uh, it, uh, here it's written S as for signal pins these are the signal pins uh, and these are the post tube VCC and this is the ground okay make sure your uh, you're connecting the clockwise motor which is uh, first this motor ESCs uh, to this pin M1 and uh, always make sure your connection white is always a signal pin red is a post tube and black one is a negative which is ground and uh, now it is a, I'm connecting the second one and uh, I'm connecting now the third one and the final fourth motor okay this is the connection from the receiver to this and uh, this is the ESC connections after making connections uh, once again you check all the uh, is any pins are left unconnected okay uh, then after connecting all these things uh, you put your, your potentiometer in zero minimum it is in minimum uh, this video is all about uh, calibrating your board as well as electronic speed controller as well as motors right so we'll have to switch on uh, your transmitter before uh, uh, calibration process switch it on and uh, put your throttle in maximum this is the third channel this is the first one aileron and this is elevator and this is throttle third one and this is a rudder which is a fourth channel uh, I'm putting my throttle in maximum and uh, after putting the throttle in maximum you just check your battery and uh, connect it once uh, if I connect this uh, you should uh, notice this LED blink I'm connecting now once so uh, it's a calibration process now started now it's end so you have to put your throttle in minimum now once you put all this throttle in minimum the process calibration process is over if you raise the throttle your all motors should run simultaneously Sorry, I think this one. Okay, this uh, look, oh. guys. Receiver is not bind with this transmitter. Okay, just wait. Uh, oh, sorry, well, I think that's the transmitter. No, not this one. Yo, sorry, yeah, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, we actually here. misplaced the transmitter. Uh, there are two transmitters. Similar transmitters. Okay. So we have kind of little confusions and this is the third channel now you can see this if you increase the throttle all motors are running simultaneously all right hence the calibration process is over so what is the rule of pitch and your yeah your potentiometer is for uh, calibrating the board so if you want to reset this uh, settings, uh, if you have to uh, make uh, make the sticks value center, uh, for that purpose you have to uh, disconnect the battery and uh, put your potentiometer, your potentiometer at uh, maximum 100, put it, put it at 100 
and then uh, make your pitch potentiometer to zero now it's in 50 i'm putting it in to zero it's in minimum now so after putting all these things together uh, now uh, make sure all the sticks are center uh, including the trim values uh, these are the trim values make sure all the trims are set to center and uh, everything is stick every stick is center after that just connect the battery and notice the board now and uh, it's a process started now wait for a few seconds and hence uh, the process over just uh, disconnect the battery that's all uh, now the trim values and uh, stick values are centered now you can adjust uh, the value whatever you want uh, now I'm going to test this quad now and uh, don't forget to put the pitch potentiometer back to 50 uh, the value the back value right so hence uh, calibration process is over as well as uh, stick center so can you over. arm this motor because we done the calibration process so now we are going to arm this board yeah uh, arming is the process uh, which the which we will be arming i mean uh, which will enter into flying mode uh, while in the calibration mode you cannot uh, um, activate the controls like a pitch and roll uh, and uh, during uh, flying uh, arming first we will keep the th uh, yaw axis in a maximum yeah your axis should be in maximum and the pitch value is 50 and roll is 50 okay, okay. after that uh, connect, connect the battery now all the values are centered so you'll get a beep sounds like this and then uh, arming is now i'm going to arm my board because i have to enter into flying mode for that uh, Hold your uh, third channel to this corner. Look at the board now. Look at the board. It's uh, in an arm position, okay? A blue okay. light indicating your quad is in uh, flying mode. It's in, now it's in flying mode. If you increase the throttle, your motors will be running, okay? So, if you are to check uh, whether the gyroscopes are working properly, take your quad in hand and uh, just rotate this can you notice the sound difference yeah the speed variation in a motor yeah due to the speed variations it produces sound hence uh, your board is in a perfect so condition it means that all the sensor is in working right yeah all the gyroscopes is working fine so next the final step is uh, just you have to uh, check the directions of motor uh, for that again on the board and uh, increase the throttle now we have to check whether uh, our elevator channel are proper or normal it's or uh, it's uh, reversed for that uh, just hold the motor and check whether uh, if you are giving an elevator make sure your uh, motor 3 and 4 gets increased and uh, for the elevator back your motor 1 and 2 should uh, rise uh, similarly for the right aileron these two motors speed will increase us yeah. and uh, for the left this two speed and for clockwise you can see this counterclockwise motors speed increases and uh, for counterclockwise this motor clockwise speed gets increased Hence, uh, your part is now ready to fly. Okay, uh, just just on it. Okay, uh, 